Hi guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to create your very own smart contact lens dispenser. It uses a prox sensor underneath to detect your hand and shoot out your daily contacts. It also has an OLED display which shows your local weather forecast. And using these removable lids, you can say goodbye to your contact lens boxes and transfer them easily into the dispenser. Then you can go ahead and enjoy your new storage solution that might make your mornings just a little bit better. If you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. But for now, I'll show you guys how it all works and how to easily make your own. Let's get started. So why would I make this? Well, because these stupid contact lens boxes were piling up in our bathroom and they were kind of driving me crazy. So I went online to find an existing solution, but the only ones that I could find were from this dude who was trying to sell them for $25 each. I thought that was kind of crazy, so I opened up Fusion 360, designed up my own, and of course I put them on Thingiverse for other people to enjoy. They've only been up there for a little bit of time, but it seems like people really like them. The only problem with these is that you have to manually pull out the contact every time. And I really, really didn't want to end up like this guy. Plus, I'd accidentally just ordered a bunch of LM358 operational amplifiers and the Instructables organizational contest was just posted. It also gave me a really good excuse to try out these awesome OLED displays that I've seen in a bunch of different projects. They can be run off 3.3 volts, which is perfect since I was hoping to use a Node MCU for this project. So after getting the basic Hello World sketch going, then eventually getting my local weather forecast to display on the screen, I was able to focus on just how the heck I was going to get these contacts to automatically dispense. So I tried it a bunch of different ways, and this one obviously worked perfectly. Uh, just kidding, this one sucked, but what I ended up going with was having the servo being underneath in a 3D printed kind of enclosure slash slot, and then having a servo wheel spin and knock the, knock the contacts out. So it worked pretty great just using a basic servo tester. Uh, so then I opened up Fusion 360 and started designing the rest of the contact dispenser. So first we have these two holes here and that's for the IR LED and the photodiode, which are both five millimeters. So they'll just push right into there. Uh, and then there's that hole in the back for the main power. And I'll get into the rest of the stuff pretty quick here, but this is just the basic design. And then of course we'll have an enclosure for the electronics. From there, I printed the bottom case, inserted the servos, and they fit perfectly. So then I printed another contact lens holder and tested it out. I also needed some way for the Node MCU to trigger the servos, so I grabbed an IR photodiode pair, an LM358, and I ended up making a simple proximity circuit where the distance is adjustable using a 10K potentiometer. It worked pretty great. And it's a little bit sensitive, so you have to be a little bit careful with the 10K potentiometer. The only problem was, the output from the LM358 was over 3.6 volts. Which according to Google, the ESP8266 can only handle 3.6 volts. The datasheet for the LM358 shows that the max voltage out of the output should be V plus minus 1.5. Since I'm using a 5 volt power supply, it should be 3.5. Nevertheless, not a big deal, we could just throw a Zener diode in there, a 3.3 volt Zener diode, which is going to successfully clip our voltage to 3.3 volts, perfect for our ESP8266. So here's the completed circuit, as you can see on the left we have our power supply, we also have our photodiode and our IR LED set up um, going into our LM358, uh, and then I added this blue LED with a current limiting resistor just because it's a little bit easier to, to tell when it's actuated. Uh, and then we have our Zener diode, we have our OLED display, uh, we have just our two servos here uh, with 470 microfarad capacitors. Uh, I've just helped, I've just found that that kind of reduces some noise. Overall if you plan on doing this circuit I would go ahead and pause the video here or go to the Instructables which I'll link in the description and then you can go ahead and follow, the, follow it that way as well. Once you have all your electronic components, go ahead and solder them all up on a perf board and then wait for all your 3D printing to be done. When everything's all complete, go ahead and assemble it. I use tape to hold a lot of it together and then install it into your case and go ahead and test it out. 